Alright, welcome to Computer Freaks. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of a simple virus. If this doesn't work, I suggest you watch part 2, which I'll have up later, which is a little bit harder, a little bit trickier to get rid of viruses. Okay, so first hold down the Windows button on your keyboard and hit R. This is the Windows button. Type in www.mvrsupport. dot com forward slash auto runs make sure you have the s after runs here it is bigger dot exe and then after you type that in double check it you know make sure you have the right thing or it won't work and then hit ok take you to this web page and then close it and ask you whether you want to save or run the file you're going to hit the save button right there. I already have it so I'm going to hit the cancel though. So you're going to wait for it to download and after downloads you will have this file right here. It's called auto runs. You're going to double click it and then hit run. It will then load and it will show every file on your system right here. Now you're going to wait until at the very top it says file entry and then options and user have to be black so you can access them. That means it's finished loading. See options isn't available yet. You just have to wait while it loads the other files. And there it is. So now click options. And you want to make sure hide Microsoft entries is checked off. I already have it checked off but you probably won't so just check it off. And then you can either hit F5 or go to File Refresh. It's easier to hit F5, but if you want, just go File Refresh. And it will reload. If you already had hide Microsoft entries checked off, you don't need to refresh it because it already has what you need. So then it will load. And once you see the options thing at the top, it's finished reloading. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to look at all these ones like this file right here that have no publisher they don't have a publisher then that means they're potential virus now if we're looking and if I know I, you need to know the uh, basic date that you got your virus you know around the time if I got, know I got mine around um, say the beginning of February <clears throat> I'm gonna look through all the files on the computer for one all the, un, all the ones that have no publisher on the computer and their dates that time after you click on a file Example right here, you'll see size, time, and version. The time shows the date. Right there is 2-13-2008. So that's around the beginning of February. So if I, that looks like a potential virus to me. Even though I know it's not, we're going to pretend it is. So you look at the location right there, right here that I just pointed out, and you go to computer, and then you follow that right there location until you find that file. So I'm going to go to that file now. And once you find it, you just keep going along where you are until you get there. Once you're there, you're going to, you can delete the file. And if it doesn't delete, there you can. there's some other stuff you'll have to do, which in part two I'll show you that. Or if you want to know now because you have the virus and you need to get rid of it, you can always contact me. Say, if you don't remember, you can always just go down, maximize it, take a look. Remember, it was in the custom folder. Right there, custom. And then the name was DSCA. Right there. And if that's what we were looking for, right there, fourth one over, right there, that right there is the virus. So you're going to just hit the delete button on your keyboard or right click delete and you empty the recycling bin and that would be the virus right there.